I'm originally from Lorain, Illinois. My mom and I loaded up my Jeep and my trailer and hauled all my stuff out here. And when I came to the canyon just for Fort Thermopolis, I think that's what sold me to the whole area. My name is Caitlin Daramidi. Um, I am a sixth grade math teacher here at Thermopolis Middle School. This is going on my fourth year of teaching. I've been here three years at Thermopolis Middle School and this is gonna be my fourth. I don't think I would have loved math if I didn't have a reason for everything that I did. If the kids don't have a reason or don't understand the whole process, they don't buy into it. So with math, they have to have the relevance there. It doesn't mean anything to them. With reading, they're, they're getting a story behind the whole thing, and I kind of like to build the story behind the math. It's exciting for kids when they're able to make a connection between different content areas, when they're able to see the true science connection and how math processes work in the science classroom, when they're able to have an application that's real world, uh, like a greenhouse. Um, those are amazing ideas that she brings into her classroom. It's a greenhouse project where they are going to plan the whole geometry aspect of how to build the greenhouse in my classroom. Um, they're going to do the plant lives and uh, how to grow the plants in uh, Mr. Olson's class, which is our science and social studies teacher. And we also have a project-based learning teacher that the kids go to every day, and she's going to do the financing port portion of it. So we're hoping to have it up and going and have those plants by spring this year. You know, I think what I see and notice is that kids Kids do enjoy being in Mrs. Daramidi's class. They, they engage in the learning and they are able to demonstrate true understanding of mathematical processes, which is a unique learning environment in a math classroom. Um, she does that through hands-on types of activities. She does a nice crossover between math and the other STEM applications. I really like the problem-solving aspect of STEM and I build it into my everyday curriculum. Um, when my kids walk in at the beginning of the day, we, we sit down and we have problem-solving skills. Um, we use um, a specific book for that and we use a thing called tips where you use your thoughts, your information, your um, plan and your solution. So we start off with that and then I really like to challenge my kids. Um, one instance of this would be I give them the answer and they have to come up with a problem that would relate to that. I really love this school district. It has a ton of technology in it and um, so many opportunities for the kids and that's what I really, really love about this school.